it's a bit a bit mad this i wasn't expecting this to be happening in the video this has gone a bit this has gone a bit left field isn't it <laughs> everyone how you all doing welcome along back to a brand new video and today you join me from the heart of warwickshire once again but this time it's a place called wappenbury woods Now today is my first proper outing into the woodland of 2023 and I'm in search of something that is quite elusive in the daytime and would be quite difficult to find. Today I'm looking for tawny owls. Tawny owls are one of seven owl species that can be found in the UK. Measuring about 40 centimeters in length with a wingspan of about a meter and weighing 500 grams, they're a decent sized bird. A predator that mainly feeds on small mice and voles as well as small birds, frogs and worms. Tawny owls are considered the most common of the owl species in the UK with an estimated 50,000 breeding pairs and they can be found all over. They're nocturnal and you'll usually hear them rather than see them with their notorious sound. They do prefer to be in woodland areas, which is where I am today. And this place supposedly is a good place to try and find some. So far on my short little walk, I've heard a great spotted woodpecker. I've heard some jays squawking. I've seen some long-tail tits, some blue tits. I've even seen a bullfinch. Whether I film that or not, that's a different question. But so far, so good in terms of what I've actually seen. Now this place is quite a decent sized woodland, but you can see what I'm up against when i'm looking for owls just take a look at all of this it's all like a spider's web behind spider's web of trees branches and trying to find an owl sitting on one of these is going to be an absolute mission now i'm fully aware i might not find some which is whatever but hopefully we can find some cool looking birds maybe even some muntjac or some deer around here as well to show you guys so on the owl hunt i found something quite interesting but not overly interesting, I'll explain. So here, you can see all of this white stuff, this bird poo, all of this goes all the way around here and all the way around here. This is the sort of stuff you're looking for to come straight out of a tree from where an owl is like roosting or something like that. But generally you want it at the base of a tree like here. And what I've just found down there is not at the base of a tree. So I'm actually looking up anyway to see if I can see a little tawny blending in to the tree but no unfortunately i can't maybe at the base of a tree if i see that i'll give it a bit more of a better scout but right now i can't i can't see anything popping out oh well we'll carry on right something weird's just happened there's a dog here but there's no owner anywhere i don't understand there's a dog it's just a dog, I'm filming it now. There's a dog running around. On its own. I don't think it had a collar on either, I couldn't tell. But he's just... He's just skulked straight past me and legged it off that way. Right, well that was, that was weird. Something I wasn't expecting. I just heard a rustling coming from over here. And I was like, okay. Is that a muntjac? Thinking, gonna get something exciting. I turn, and it's like like a greyhound looking thing. Dog? And there's no one here. And he's gone. Oh man. Like, he was literally here about 15 seconds. I tried to give it the old, psh, 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 come here dog, come here. And it didn't want to do it. He's just gone. I don't know what to say. I, f I, I don't really know what to do either. I sort of feel like I should go after it, but he, I don't, he's gone. So I'm looking back at the footage right now. This dog, I don't think he had a collar on. So I don't know if he's like a stray. He looks quite slim. He looks quite ribby and bony, but 
Mate, that was weird. Like no one's come past. I've heard no one calling, nothing. This dog without a collar has just come trotting on through. That was so weird. Like, I've never experienced that before. I was getting excited thinking it was a muntjac or a fox or just something like bigger than a bird, but dog. Now, if we're trying to spot these owls, like I say, it's gonna be quite difficult. But at the time I've come, we should be heading into sunset soon, which gives me a slight bit of hope that maybe they'll start to come out and it gives me a better chance at trying to see them. Cause so far, I've had no luck whatsoever gawking into these trees. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is your dog? That's my dog and the black and white one. And the, the collie? Yeah. Who's this? I don't know who this dog is. And this is weird because I saw a dog earlier that I didn't didn't have a collar, didn't have anything. What's going on? Um, I've heard of a dog that's roaming these woods that's like a tan coloured greyhound type. Yeah. And I know that people are trying to find spottings of it. This is, this is so weird, like, because I saw that one earlier. I thought it was going to be a deer and then a dog popped up and then... We've got this little brindle looking thing. Them locally Maybe. There was a black Alsatian a few weeks ago what? that was here as well. That's so weird. Come on, you, away. Seems friendly. He seems, it. yeah, he seems nice, but he's got no collar or anything. It's no. so weird. Please don't try and catch or chase the fellow. Or... That's, that would be the one I saw. Yeah. Yeah. So they want, there's that number to text or WhatsApp sightings. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that, yeah. Right, well, at least we got an answer to that sort of thing, because that was really weird <laughs> seeing that earlier. And then obviously there's a second one. There's something going on in Warwickshire. The dog's being dumped. That lady's sort of walking off there now. I'm going to try and ring this um, number that she spoke about saying, because apparently, and you've got the image here, you can probably see it, that little picture there, I'm pretty sure that's the dog we saw and filmed earlier so weird like that's two dogs i don't know what else to say about that now it's a bit weird isn't it so i just left a message on the voicemail i've also sent over some pictures and video on the whatsapp and we'll see what happens with that but that was so strange there's two dogs running around this woods that shouldn't be they're on the loose two stray dogs it's proper proper weird mate anyway as far as owls are concerned i've been looking around no sign of them so far. I'm gonna carry on, hopefully I see something. I keep hearing jays calling, keep hearing woodpeckers calling. I've heard a buzzard a couple of times. So it's all good for wildlife. It's a bit a bit mad this. I wasn't expecting this to be happening in the video. This has gone a bit, this has gone a bit left field, isn't it? Oh, look at these big ice blocks. Oh my goodness me, look at this one. Oh, yes, size of that. Ready, are you ready?
trying to find flipping hours in here it is ridiculous. This is absolutely mental. Look at this. Bit weird, isn't it? Bit of peanut butter, some bottles, tent poles. This is a bit weird. Greek yogurt. Just dumped on the edge of the woodland. I always find it strange when I head into like woods like this and I see stuff like that. And I'm thinking, who? Why? Why is that there? What? What is going on? So we've got the sun starting to go down now. I'm now going to keep my ears out for any tawny owl action. Any hooting would be good because we can then try and locate where that's coming from. But so far, it's been a pretty poor effort trying to find these tawny owls. We've seen some really cool things. We've seen nuthatches, tree creepers, red kites, stray dogs for some reason. But uh, no tawny owl, which is what we set out for, which is a disappointment, but ultimately we've seen quite a lot, so I'm happy with that. Long tail tits are always good. It would be good if I could also film a J, but you win some, you lose some. So this is a nut hatch, and you'd be forgiven for thinking, if you didn't already know, that this was a woodpecker, because when you see it do things like this, it looks very much like a woodpecker. So basically what it's doing there is hunting for food. It basically strips away the back, bashes into the tree, and finds itself some little grubs to eat. So one of the biggest problems I'm having trying to find tawny owls is I'm looking at trees too much. I'm starting to think some of the branches are just owls. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it from this one, but just between this fork, there's a little bit there. I thought, oh my God, owl. Got the camera out, looked at that, thought, oh my God, owl. You zoom it in though, and it's uh, it's not an owl, it's just, just a tree. But from here, it looks like an owl. Oh. <laughs> oh guys, I don't think today is going to be the day for tawny owls, which is a shame, but I came here with that in mind that it might happen that we don't see any. Now obviously they're elusive birds, but I think what I'm going to do is put a pin in this, maybe come back here or go somewhere else, trying to find some tawny owls. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode though of just wildlife with Cookie. Um, bit of a weird one, can't lie. Didn't expect what happened was gonna happen. It was just a bit strange. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Check out the links in the description. Until next time, take care.